this task we have to create a query again. It says the airport table contains details of destination airports. Angela wants a list of airports which have a runway length of 4,000 meters or more. Okay, we start here. We want to create. We want a query wizard and a simple one. Now, we're going to use the airport and the list should only show the field city, country and distance. So, city, country and distance. Create a query search on the table airport to identify these airports. So let's select next. We have the selected one. What title should the query have? Now that would be distance 4000 or more. Could be the title for the query. And modify in the query design as we're going to do some changes. Now we know the distance is more than, so we put the more than symbol, more than or equals, so remember to put the equals symbol, 4000. Now what else did we have to think about? List of airports, runway length, okay, it's runway length. So runway this is in the wrong place so we just cut it here between and now let's run and see how it comes out okay she wants it in the set same order city country and distance and she does not want to see the runway so we go back we take this tick out run it again and this is how she wants it to be seen Don't forget that we need to minimize it just to see the amount and then print screen. Okay, that's perfect for this query. Now, for the next one, we'll close this one. You have to save it always QRY and then could be distance 4000 and more. Now, I'm going to say no. And the next task was Angela wants a list of customers flying from certain dates. Okay, we'll go create again. Query wizard, simple one. Now, she says she wants first name, last name, phone. So we need the customer table to begin with. And that means first name, last name, phone, country, city, and date. We have the date here. Then we have to go to the airport to get country and city country and city. Next, a title for the query. We can have that between dates. And modify, because we want to change some details. Now here you can see how these two tables are connected from the airport primary key to the destination here. Now, what did we need to think about? The dates. So it says customers were flying from the 23rd till the 29th of July. Now I can write here between and 23rd of the 7th of 2012 between and then and 29th of the 7th 2012. If I now run the query, and these are the records that I get, and there are five in total, correct. Now I'm going to show you a different way. Instead of writing between, you can also write more than equals the 23rd, and we can drag here to see the field better, and also less than equals less than would be like this equals the 29th and that gives us the same information so we can run it see that it's 5 remember to minimize it to the exact amount that you need and you see the total of records and this one could be saved as destination or between dates between dates sorry 
Now, this will be then used to create a report. So we're going to save it. And we're going to save it as we close it. We've already saved it as between dates, so we know the name of it. The report would be report wizard, the simplest way doing it. And it tells us we have to show only the fields, last name, first name, country, city, and date in that order. So we're going to go and get the query we just created between dates. We want it in this order, last name first, so we enter that first then first name, then country, then city, and then date. Now we press next. It tells us not to have grouped records. We'll just keep this as it is. Do you want to add any grouping? No. So we press next. Then it tells us be sorted in ascending order of date. So date is here, ascending order and within ascending order of city. So that means we have to put the city first and then as it's within the ascending order of date. Then we press next. Just keep the default layout and the style. Now, what title do you want for your report? So this is a list of customers flying between the dates we have already inserted. So customers flying between 23rd and the 29th of July. Could put 2012 also. We'll modify it. Now this is how a report is in design view. Customers flying between 23rd and the 29th of July. Very descriptive, very good. Now, we were told that we were only to show last name. Now it's not coming up in the order that I put it when we were in the wizard. So we're going to move it as it asks for last name first. So I'm going to click on last name, then I'm just going to drag it in front of city like this then I want the first name so I click also drag it next thing is country and city so we do the same thing S country city date now it's in the right order uh, what more have suitable column headings now make sure the same as with the form that I put caps locks on again last space name first space name, country city date is very good. Now this one is a little bit maybe too big so we'll drag it to the side to, to make it smaller. Same for a country, it doesn't have to be so big, the field and the date also a little bit smaller. Now it tells us to have in the report footer our name, candidate number and center number so what we need to do is put it down here. We have to get a label, place it here. This could be center, let me have the caps locks on, center number and 96685. Now, then we can just create a little space here and say name and I'll put my name and you can have comma, commas between or something like that. What do they ask more, no, more candidate number? And that could be your own number, of course. You could also put another label. It's up to you, but I think it's best to just have it in the same one here. Now, we're going to have to change this as this is the date and it's coming way too much to the side. So we move this also a little bit the left side. I'm going to see how this report looks now. Press here on view. Now what happens here is the city field is way too small, so is the date field. The rest is all perfect. So we go back, we go to the design view. Now this field, we can just click it and drag it to the side. 
like this and now it's definitely going to be big enough. The city field, however, also needs to be bigger. So click on city, drag it to the side and that should be enough. We'll see how it comes out. Perfect. Now you're not going to print screen this as they ask you to print it out. So we're going to see how it comes out in print preview. We go to print, print preview, comes out well, you press print. And that's it. And this was the last task for the database part of the exam. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.